was really upset with uh, the slime chunk not working. But, oh, he's not here now. I saw a slime here. There is a slime in here. Um, I came in here just to double check to make sure that this was a slime chunk. And there was a slime in here. Lovely, lovely. So, that is an actual working slime chunk. I came, I had an idea <laughs> for uh, a new build that I'm going to be doing starting today. It's not really a build today because what I have, what, one, two, three, four, five pieces of diamond in my existence on this world. I really, 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 really need to get diamond so I'm gonna start mining some stuff I have plenty of food I have three of these I am doing this making some stone slabs I have a chest I have a piece of leather and some bones and I'm gonna bring a sign with me to label what I'm gonna make. I'm gonna bring my bed. Horses don't swim. And when I came onto the world, I wanted to check um, where I'm gonna make my mine. And I like doing mines in extreme biomes over here. And I'm thinking I actually designed, uh, partially designed, the way the mine is going to look. And I am a Lord of the Rings fan, so guess what? Uh, it's going to be not exactly like Moria, but I am going to make a place kind of like Moria. A uh, dwarven kingdom. Uh, not so scary, but a dwarven kingdom itself. And it's going to take forever. Um, and that's part of the reason why I said I was going to possibly change this to a streaming world because ooh, more pumpkins um didn't see that in the overview map because it will take me many weeks of work to get this right so initially uh last week i was over here and i looked at this mountain and it looks really cool because it's higher than the cloud top. And I was thinking, well, I can. that's where I'll put my mines. Oh, look, there's an entrance right here. Then I decided to come on here and scout the place out before um, the next episode, which is now. So I brought chocolate cream over here to check this place out. And everything was going wonderful until I decided to climb this up. This right here with chocolate cream. And I got into this waterfall right here. And it's very sad. And he got stuck. You know, when you go into water that is too deep. Excuse my insolence there. I think I came like right here and I fell off the horse and he fell like right here and I was unable to get up to him and he drowned. So chocolate cream is no longer. My first tame animal on my world has died. And the worst part about it, he died on the series called Minecraft Uncut, and it wasn't filmed. <laughs> so, we're going to take this moment. And we're gonna put him down 
put a little bit of his body in here. And there's Chocolate Cream's remnants. Sad. Here lies chocolate. Chocolate cream. He can't swim. So sad. I didn't even get him any flowers. And I only knew him for like two hours. Hmm. <laughs> He'll be sorely missed. Right? Bye, buddy. Have a good life in heaven. <laughs> well, there's death one. So where? Where was I going to do this? Um... If you know of Moria from the Lord of the Rings, it is a cliff face like this, and there's a waterfall like that, and there's a door with a nice image, you know, you speak friend and enter, and there's like a swampy type um, pond in front of it, and then there's the entrance, and it goes all through the mountains and it's supposed to actually be 40 miles wide in real life so I was looking for where I should put the actual entrance and I think um, I don't know where I think where was I gonna put it let me just see if there's uh, the place over here that I was gonna do it the main room that I have in mind for this place is going to be um, 180 blocks by 180 blocks, about 40 to 50 blocks high. And that's going to take a very long time to mine. And if I'm doing a Minecraft um, uncut, that means I am supposed to show everything that I do mining-wise. And at the top of the mine, I'm going to have the Dwarven King Chair looking out over the kingdom. And this would be a wonderful kingdom. So I'm thinking of putting a chair in there or in there. So he can look out over his kingdom. Which is pretty vast. I came in to, into this world off camera to look at the slime trunk. Find out what was wrong with it. And immediately when I went down there, I was like, oh, there's a slime jumping around. So it is right. It just wasn't spawning on camera. So I do know that that slime chunk is really a slime chunk. And I will be cutting that out eventually. Um, then I thought to myself, well, the next thing I really need is diamonds. I've been complaining the fact that I only have a couple of diamonds. And I really need to go and get some. And um, I had been wanting to make a mine in this world, um, in the extreme biomes, because uh, you can get, I am in the extreme, yeah, extreme hills plus, you can get um, emeralds. Not like I'm really going to need them, but it's just nice to run into emeralds, plus, you know, silverfish will give you a hard time. Which makes the game a little more exciting. So, 
So um, I took my horse and kind of wanted to find out exactly where I wanted to do the mining. And I killed him. <laughs> and my first thought is, oh crap, I'm being sneaky and going on here where I'm supposed to show everything on camera because it's Minecraft Uncut. But it was for, you know, design purposes. I had designed a certain room and I have a creative world with the designs in it. Um, and I wanted to make sure the area was big enough for it because it is basically 10 chunks by 10 chunks that are going to be underground. So you can see the depths of how big the place is. You're not going to be able to see the uh, ceiling, I guess. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five, okay. So that torch is in the middle. So this will be a bigger area also. You know, probably it'll be at least three or four things high and it comes into here. That will probably be closed off. And I'll have, um, I guess a main staircase going down from here that will probably be, I don't know, five, at least five blocks wide going all the way down to 11. And then over here I'm going to have a staircase going up to the pinnacle of this. Massachusetts mountain. doesn't have a negative connotation, I guess. Maybe we're too progressive, which to me is a good thing because why would you be against helping other people that are less off than you? Ah, that's lovely. Dang it. There is my first kill. And did I lose everything that they had on me? Which really wasn't that much. Well, let's see. Did I? What? Oh boy. Hold with me while I punch this block. I don't know if I was able to form. No. Shit, I lost everything. I wasn't sure if I was able to. <laughs> I guess I'm going to run home real quick. Re retool myself. Oh. Lovely. Okay, rage quit. See ya. Um. I tried to get the water bucket down, but I think I was under the thing, under the lava, because I didn't have it on my bar, and I just like walked into that lava like an idiot. And it is dark out, so let's go to sleep. Oh, so, by the way, this is a new horse. He's just as bad. Um... And his name is Smokey. Kind of like OK with a S M at the beginning. Because he kind of looks Smokey. Smokey. Oh, let's drown in lava. And I didn't like panic right away because I'm like, oh, I just got to throw my bucket of water on. But I wasn't prepared yet because I wasn't down at lava level and I didn't have my water where it is now. Which it always should be when you're mining. So, it's like, oh, I've fallen in lava before. Big whoop de doo Instead, I get scarrowed. So, basically, um, let me explain this to you. Most people, when they branch mine, they'll make a doorway here. And they'll make a doorway here. So, you can see these blocks... And these blocks, so as you go down, and the blocks on top of you, and the blocks on the other side. Um, and some people say that you can actually have three blocks in between it, because even though you can't see these two middle ones, most all or uses more than two blocks width to spawn. 
So if you get a diamond thing, you'll have two diamond here, then two diamond here. So you'll see the diamond from collecting this out. Which will lead you into here. Because rarely is there just one piece of diamond in the middle here that you, there, and there's none surrounded. So the only thing you're really doing is eliminating chunks of war that are more than, um, that are less than one thing wide. And that's very rare. So this is a good way of doing it. So you can see this block and that block. But there's even a better way, I think, of doing it. Which is um, doing it every, what is it, 13 blocks apart. And then every three blocks down, doing a, a little, let me go look now. I'm kind of at a loss of how I can explain this. Cutting a thing into the side five blocks deep. So when I go five blocks deep, I will reach, this is the end of the five blocks. So I will be able to see this block. And the next thing that would be 13, the next shaft that would be 13 blocks that way, will be able to see all the way to where this furnace is. Basically to this. So you can see this block, and I can see this block. The only block I'm not seeing is the one in the middle. So it's the least amount of blocks you can cut out to see as much as possible. And you'll see what I mean when I start cutting to the sides, my side chambers. I guess I'll do a side chamber after this one, just to kind of show you. And I like to make this initial thing 250 blocks long. So what I normally do is get 50 torches in my thing and every five blocks just keep going, keep going. Maybe I'll do that now till I hit 200, uh, till all my 50 torches are gone. So I know this thing is a length of uh, 250 because I'm putting a torch down every five blocks. And if I have 50 torches, that's 250 blocks. And then I come back and do those side branches to... Uh, collect the ore that I might be missing in between and of course when I hit um, Caves and stuff I can hear water to my left um, I explore those also And there's that sound for the caves and what's it like going from Massachusetts to Florida Florida is kind of like the um, Everybody makes fun of Florida all the weird shit you hear in the news comes from Florida and it is a very strange state because, um, for one, it looks like a flaccid penis. And I live on the tip of the state, too, which makes it kind of sticky. Which is yuck. Anyways, um, the farther south you go in Florida, the farther north you really are. I know that makes no sense. But the closer you are to Tallahassee, which is at the top of the state, uh, the closer you are to the people who have lived in Florida their whole lives and act more like people from mm, Mississippi and Arkansas and Louisiana, kind of southern real nice people but kind of ignorant and different because when people say they're going to florida like the snowbirds they are usually uh coming down to south florida where i live down here um say like at my job at everybody who works at my job I would say, I'm surprised I haven't had any coal yet. I would say 10% were actually born in this state. And those 10% that were actually born in the state are about as rednecky as you can get, which is fine. But um, it's not like the uh, New Yorkers and stuff that you get down where I am. Um, so it's very rare. Uh, so they have a popular bumper sticker down here. Three. 
um, called Flow Grown. It's just F L O with the state of Florida in the middle with the grown after it, which basically means that they're Florida bred, that they're from Florida. They were born in Florida and are from Florida, which are usually the people that make the news. <laughs> um, another thing about Florida uh, that's kind of interesting is if Orlando is like a split place um, everything north of Orlando is basically democratic and well, I should say that hmm, how can I explain this everything south of Orlando you need to speak Spanish to get around you can be in Walmart and uh, and eat these potatoes. You can be in a Walmart and you can see a person go and ask me anything. I'm a Walmart employee, and you go up to them and say, "You can." I, I, I've actually done this. Do you know where Walmart is? And they'll look at me and go, "No comprende essay. No comprende. No speak English. Hold on." And they'll go get somebody who speaks English. So. I don't really speak much Spanish, but I mean, I can get by living down here, but it would be nice because um, 40 to 50% of my town is old white people from up north, and the other 50 to 60% of the town are the people who work to take care of the old pe white people up north, and out of those 50-60% of the people, about 30% of them are illegal Mexicans. Which, we have some really good Mexican restaurants down here. And any chain, a store that opens up in Florida that's popular up north is not nearly as good down here. Um, I'm a huge Dunkin' Donuts fan, and the Dunkin' Donuts down here suck. The donuts are stale, the, um, the coffee isn't really as good, even though it's the same stuff, they, it's just different somehow, and I don't know how that is. That's true with other stores that have opened in Florida, because if you live in, say, Jersey or Pennsylvania, and you're used to eating at White Castle, and you come down to Florida, and there's no White Castle, it kind of bums you out, so... They'll move, you know, a couple of stores down here just for the people who are used to going to White Castle for food. And so there's Dunkin' Donuts down here, which isn't really from Florida. Actually, they're from, what is, south of Boston somewhere, I forget. Quincy? No. Norwood, I think. I think that's where Dunkin' Donuts originated. Uh, Friendly's from Wilbraham, Mass is down here, but they're going out of business because they're not nearly as good as they are up north. And I still don't have any coal. What the hell? So Florida is really two different states, and Orlando is a dividing line. You have the ultra-conservative south part because most of the people that live down here are um, rich white guys and gals. And over 60 years old. And then you can go up north where it's the working people who are more for things to help out the workers and giving the workers a break. So it is really two different states. And it seems like the, uh, the state has become more um, democratic lately, actually. I think the last elections, it voted democratically. And it used to be a big red state. Not that you guys care because politics don't matter until you're older. Very rarely do I know somebody who's like 20 years old or younger that actually gives a shit about politics. It's a beautiful place to visit, but in, with my movements around the country, I've realized that the things that make an area exquisite and beautiful to you... Um, you know, like down here, palm trees, you know, people, oh, God, gotta love the palm trees. But after, 
you know, six months of living down here, the palm trees look like oak trees or maple trees to you. They're normal. They're not, they're not beautiful. They're just regular trees. And I think that's true for every area. Every area has its lovely areas. Did you stop coming after me because, hi, I'm down here. I think you knew I was going to do that, didn't you? I'm, I'm actually thinking of um, when I run into things that I'm doing in this world, making a tutorial on and a different video uh, to explain why and what I'm doing. Being in a place um, where a lot of the rich folk retire to, there's been some rich people who have lived in this town. Um, including... Tom Cruise has a place here. Shania Twain has a place, or had a place here. She moved. I deliver to her old house, though. Um, Dave Thomas, the guy who, you know, ran Wendy's restaurants. I, did, I still d deliver to his sister. I thought for a little bit that I actually delivered to Wendy, the person he named the thing after, but I think it's his sister. I'll ask her next time I see her. But I don't, you know, he, he died fairly recently, and I don't want to be um, button, you know, bringing up bad stuff. Uh, Sidney Crosby lives down here, and he practices um, about three miles away from where I live, uh, the hockey player. Louis Tiant, the famous Red Sox player, lives down here. Mike Greenwell's uh, park is down here, too. Another Red Sox player. I remember when I went to a game with my dad and this company up in Massachusetts a long time ago, and they had to bet, you know, just a stupid... Uh, bet which inning will have the most runs for the Red Sox, and um, I chose my inning that I thought would be the inning. Did I already clear this all out? There's nothing here. Wow. Um, and I was probably I was too young to be making bets, basically. Oh, there's a skeleton up here. My pickaxe ain't gonna make it. Oh, there's two. Um, and Mike Greenwell, the inning that I chose for the most runs in an inning, Mike Greenwell ended up hitting a grand slam. So, I'll always remember that. But he is, he, uh oh. He's got a, uh, Nice, fun park to go to. Are you going to come down and get me? I didn't even make remake a bow yet. I don't think I'm going to go that way just now. Let me... Okay. Uh, what do I want to do? I do have plenty of iron to cook up. I do I need a pick? I do need a pick. Fuck. Let me go make a pick. Wee. Oops. Who else lives down here? A lot of Fortune 500 people, and they're all in the, a certain gated or there's two gated communities down near the water. 
um, where they all live and it's just amazing to see the types of cars that you have in there you can tell when season's coming because you'll have the exotic um, car carrier things and they'll pull up in front of the gated community and they'll wheel off a Lamborghini uh, a McLaren and you know a couple of Aston Martins and you know the nice Jaguars uh, Maseratis So it is a different type of area because there's the low and the high class people together. And um, I don't know if I'm going to stop at 100 episodes also. And I don't know what I'm going to do if I'm AFKing somewhere. I was thinking of recording the AFKing or really not doing the AFKing but having you know st story time which would be better story time than I give you in these episodes because ouch when I'm you know I'm as Stacy would say I'm a guy so I can't do two things at once so I can't play this game and talk but if I'm AFKing and just watching mobs falling I can tell a pretty good story, but when I'm concentrating, even if it's just as simple as cutting some blocks like I just did, I have a really hard time. I have a really hard time. I don't know why, because it's not like going after coal blocks really takes lots of concentration, but it's enough to embarrass me on my abilities um, but that's okay I'm plugging through like a good plugger does I'm plugging plugging away on the tonight of a new day whereas Lind would say I'm living the dream that's the dream getting coal in a ravine but the good thing about mining, you know, I was at well, like 27, 28 levels when I died. And already just by getting some coal and stuff, I'm back higher. Oop, there's a cave up there. This is the end. This is this doesn't make any sense. Two, three. So I skipped three blocks. Just dig five like this in. And I go to the other side and dig five in. But there's no way to dig that way. So I won't. So I go one, two, three. And then the fourth one, I dig five in. And I can see all the blocks around here. And when I do it from the other side, and I should be in the same exact positions, um, my block will, my tunnel will end three blocks past that one that I'm looking at right now. So I'll see two, three blocks on the other side. I won't see the block in between, but I see the block on this side. And I see all these blocks. And I just, I just think it's, yeah, you're gonna miss some stuff, but very rarely. You're gonna get 95 to 98% of the stuff. And this is, instead of making these tunnels, I can, just make these quick little side paths like that and for the amount of blocks that I break see now I have I see coal over there so I'm gonna dig to the coal collect the coal or diamonds or whatever's over here then anytime I have to dig all the way out here I'll put a torch at the end of here make sure this is all lit up and this is also good for getting experience. This is a, the poor man's way of getting experience. Because I'm about to hit 20 again. And I don't know where that zombie is, but he's probably going to hit me soon. I hear you. I'm not going to worry about you. So I'll put a torch down there. So then I just go one, two, three, fourth one, and...
And collect the blocks. One, two, three. I do not get all the blocks at the end because you see that one's hanging there, but you know, it's just cobblestone, so it's not a big deal. One, two, three, four. And I try and keep it consistent so when I'm working on the tunnel next to this, I am exactly lined up at the end. See now, there is coal here that I missed. Yep, they do. But if you use coal blocks as a working block, and I plan on doing that for the Moria build somehow, um, I need a lot of this. And eventually, if I get the silk touch, I'll just silk touch all this um, and wait till I get the Fortune 3 because Fortune 3 is possibly the best pick ever. One, oh. And when I make the tunnel out, obviously you saw me skip this. Unless I'm directly mining it and it's in my way. I uh, will skip over it and collect it on my way back. It's kind of opening like opening up cheap Christmas gifts. You're not expecting much, but here's this anticipation of hitting diamond that I really kind of like. I don't know. Part of the reason why I like this game is because it's really relaxing to me to just grinding and doing this type of stuff. I really enjoy doing it. Uh, when I'm stressed out at work and I come home and I'm just mining like this, um, I really get to relax fairly well. So it's something I do enjoy a lot. kind of know how to create stuff. See, these are diamonds that I... Got. And sometimes when you see two like that, it could be uh, diamond, it could be redstone, it could be any other ores. Always, when you got two next to each other, on top of each other like that, most likely one diagonal in either direction you'll have two more so i'm guessing there's two more diamonds either there or over there so there they are just a trick for you to know if you had just to see the two like that most likely are there are two more right there that's why people like to dig around the diamond blocks because even though they're not seen and it's set up in that particular order. There's the other two. It's a little tip from somebody who's probably spent weeks of their lives doing what I'm doing right now. I know people hate watching it, but it's like one of my favorite things to do in this freaking game. And it's, I don't know. So I was thinking, you know, I do AFK a lot in this game. What, how should I do Minecraft on AFKing? So one thing I was thinking was I do have a bunch of music. I was just thinking of recording, you know, the mobs falling, maybe doing, taking a two-hour recording session and turn, you know, speeding up the episode till 20 minutes and uh, put music over it. Or maybe t actually doing a pre-planned story somehow but my stories have all backfired you know I, I think to myself before the episodes begin what am I gonna talk about oh well let's I was gonna talk about living in Florida and all the different things that happened in living in Florida and I can think of a few points and I'm like yeah that's that's a great thing to talk about living in Florida and how people look down in Florida and it's kind of like the laughing stock of the country and why it should be and why it shouldn't be and it takes me like 10 or 15 minutes to talk about it and then i have another hour and 45 minutes to go over stuff so i have to either learn how to flush out my stories uh completely i don't know make three movies out of one children's book <laughs> Instead of making three movies out of three adult books, 
So, and I noticed when I was making the videos, I was always saying, well, this is bad content, and this isn't how I want it to go, and I'm still kind of doing it now, because it's something I'm working on, but if I want people to enjoy the videos, I'm not going to have them enjoy the videos if I'm complaining about how bad the video is, because they're going to go, well, yeah, this video does suck, so why am I watching this? So I'm like convincing people my video is bad before I, you know, make giving them the opinions of my video before they make their own opinions. It's those things I gotta, you know, I keep an eye out for and how to improve. And, um, I don't know, I, I'm learning. I always try and be a little bit better today than I was yesterday. I gotta learn to be a little bit happier too. So I gotta come up with a name for the mines. I was working on last night um, maybe putting the KMA's corner into the wall somehow but that wasn't working out too well. But I do have at least the supports for the cave and what the cave walls and doorways are going to be like. And it's basically going to be a dark area on half slabs with strange lighting. Lots of this. Get rid of you. Um, because I do want to have it pretty much designed, ready to go, so when I'm building it, I don't have to spend the time just designing it, because I'll spend an hour designing a a, a pillar. And that's, and I would rush it if I was doing that on camera. So I'm just going to a creative world and creating the stuff. And I guess I'll have both of the worlds open and just recreate it over on here while I record this. I hope you like the way on mine. It's a little different, but it's good. I hope you enjoyed my death. That was not funny. And uh, I'm sorry that I had killed chocolate cream off camera forgive me for that but until next week have a good day this is Kay enjoy I'm gonna go eat my dinner you should do that too bye bye